service. So when he cooks or does that, you know, clean, I'm going, oh, honey, thank you for washing the dishes. So many times you think that the touch can only happen during the sexual act and the union between that husband mm -hmm. and wife. But the touch could be in the small thing, many boxes. But you never know what's inside until you do what? Open it. Open it. Yeah. All right. And then hold up this and you'll see that there are yeah. other boxes yeah. are inside. And men, we need to be romantic. Keep it real. Well, this is Dr. Keith Roll and Lady Sister Joy. And this is our August proclamation, Rejoice Always, taken from Philippians, Philippians 4 and 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. You know, sometimes you think you rejoice only when things are okay. You think you rejoice when things are just wonderful. But no, the Bible says always. You may be going through hard time. You may be going through pain. Hey, rejoice. New beginning, August, the eighth month. And therefore, five things, five fingers hold up. When you rejoice, means to twirl around and to dance. Zephaniah 3, the Lord is rejoicing over Amen. you with singing and dance. And therefore, this month, we want you to know that rejoice is a command. Yes. Rejoice is celebration. Hallelujah. Rejoice is communion. Rejoice is communication. Rejoice is completeness. And you can have that joy inexpressible, Amen. full of joy, uh, glory, and running over. Let me tell you, joy for me is an antidepressant. You know, sometimes you want to get down. Things want to weigh you down. But you know, you say, hey, no, 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 no. Jesus is the real thing. And he's the source of your joy. So we want to encourage you. Hey, may this music make you get up and dance. You may be going to dance. The Lord has done it. Woo! He has done it. Mercy, you're my girl. And we're rejoicing with you. Well, welcome to Keep It Real. We are back again at the beginning of the month. It is a new month, the month of August, the eighth month of the year. I am Dr. Keith Roll, a.k.a. Dr. K. And... Sister Joy Asweke Rose. Isn't she lovely in that red outfit? Yeah, I just woke up today and I felt like wearing red, you know. Hey. Well, I tell you, <laughs> ladies, she has so many clothes <laughs> in the closet all over, all over the house. But we're keeping it real. DMI. And she doesn't want to give any away, but, I do. It, but if you I come to it. our house, I give it you, uh, you can get some of these dresses because <laughs> she takes up my space in the room. <laughs> and we're so glad you have joined us for episode 75. And our topic today is the August Proclamation, and it is Rejoice Always. This is going to be an exciting program and exciting intriguing program, an impactful program, a, sus a suspenseful program, action pack, you name it. Joy's going to tell you how the Lord inspired her with this theme. Every month, she gets an inspiration mm -hmm. from the Lord. She goes into prayer for eight hours. I uh, hardly get to see no, her. No, no. But let's go ahead and introduce our uh, sponsor, and then we'll get right into the program. Okay. Our sponsor is my own darling sister. She's a worshiper, but Her Excellency Ambassador Minister Priska Nkwacha. She's with World Financial Group, Financial Professional Agent. She's very good in what she does. Please contact her. It's uh, her team. It's uh, or her. What do they call it? The brand. The brand. That's Financial the literary Financial campaign. campaign. All that information. Yes. She can show you how to accumulate wealth. 
and also get the various uh, products that you need to yeah. live. Well, you know, August is the eighth month. Eighth is the number of new beginning. Mm -hmm. And eight uh, signifies a fresh start. So I believe that in this month, you can have a fresh start. Amen. You can tell a new story. It's a new beginning for you. God's going to give you new strategies. Uh, you've entered into a new season. Amen. You're going to come into a new synergy. Yes. You know, Joey, so many times God removed people from our lives, but we are still chasing after them. Yes. See, people come into your lives for a reason. Then they come in for a season, but then there are those who are in covenant with you. So just stop chasing the fleas, the ticks, the piranhas, the drama <laughs> people, the negative people, and synergize with the destiny helpers whom God has sent to help you arrive at, to fulfill your purpose and your destiny on time. And we had a men's summit. We had 42,000 viewers. Viewers, people actually got on, and there were about 22 nations, Morocco, Bangladesh, Saudi Arabia, Cameroon, the list goes on and on. Joel Robert uh, there in Nigeria in the Winning World Studio, he also does our lives. So Joel, we want to give a shout out to you, Thank and you, we Joel. salute you, you for Everything all that done. you mm -hmm. do in the nations. Mm -hmm. And then next time we'll share some of the comments the mail, the men shared, but there was a health segment. And so many men, they fear and they dread going to the doctor. Well, we had a doctor talking about uh, erectile dysfunction, so many problems that men suffer. And well, we go into hiding, but you need to go to your doctor. Take that 20-minute exam. It could save your life. All right, let's get into uh, Rejoice Always, and we're going to put some scripture in. And then also on this episode, we're dancing at the beginning, and also we're going to dance at the end because we're going to rejoice with Amen. one of my Practical favorite Nigerian uh, is Mercy Chinwo. Chinwo. I don't know what her married name is, but anyway, uh, we love Mercy. Blessed. Um, her name is blessed. I think that's what Okay, she go is. ahead. Um, let me tell you, this I think comes as revelation. It's not that I've not read that passage before, but you know, I was just looking. We did a global initiative, like we told it, and we saw so many people hungry. We saw so many people sick. We had many people struggling, not only in here, you know, many all countries, over the world, all over the world, global. and you know, I mean, it was global. And I mean, I was just like one day, just shedding tears before the Lord said, "God, you know, help us." Cancer, people dying suddenly. I just lost a cousin suddenly. People just dying, you know, without long sickness. And as I was just praying, and that word came, sound of rejoicing, rejoice in the Lord always. And I go sometimes when we get some things like that, we think it's because. Things are good. When you see some people happy, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying is rejoice always. Because sometimes if you don't rejoice, you get negative vibe. You get mm -hmm. depressed. You get anxiety. You get things that come down on you. And you can't even change anything. Even the Bible says by worrying, what can you do? You know, when you smile, when you laugh, and yeah. you rejoice, it causes uh, endorphins yes. and, and also chemical reaction within your body. And this is what rejoicing does. And therefore, Philippians uh, 4 and 4, if yeah. we can put up that scripture, uh, we got several scriptures. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice, rejoice. with an exclamation point. Yes. So there are five things about uh, what rejoicing does and you can use any finger you can use the thumb you can use the index finger, the mm -hmm. pinky finger but first in Philippians 4 and 4 when it says rejoice always God is commanding you to rejoice I have said it before rejoice make it a conscious decision to rejoice despite what you're going through it's like it's like a doctor giving you a recipe uh, or a prescription. A prescription or a dietitian giving you a recipe for example you have a heart attack or you have a heart problem you have a blood sugar they say it's 2100 calorie diet they know what 1500 or 1200 they have 2100 they have 1500 then that means they are telling to help you so when the word of god says rejoice in the lord always again always and i go wow somebody can be sick somebody can be hung hungry somebody can be going through difficult time 
rejoicing is a therapy or therapeutic solution given by God. I've tried it. I've been in a place of pain, in a place of I'm loss. Not happy. You've had so many loss. family members so to, negative things to like pass in the past me. three months. And sometimes I just hear the you know, music, message when I turn about it, start worshiping. And by the time you know, you're feeling better. I always tell people that, I read somebody that said that meditation is medication. I said, that's good for me. My one of the antidepressants or anti-negative vibe is just rejoicing in the Lord, dancing, just using the word of God to make myself happy. Because what is therapeutic and it's real. And that's an RX for you, like that doctor gives you a prescription, prescription. diagnosed the program. A problem and you on a uh, prognosis. The next scripture is Zephaniah 3 14 through 17. And therefore, we the next finger we'll do the pointer yeah. is uh, I'll read the scripture Sing, daughter Zion, shout aloud, Israel, be glad and rejoice with all mm -hmm. your heart, daughter Jerusalem. 15. <coughs> Uh, if you don't have it, but anyway, this one is celebration. The Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. 16. It says, On that day they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear Zion. Do not let your hands or your head hang down limp. Number 17. It says, the Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who said he will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice, rejoice over you with singing and dance. You can Amen. dance with the Lord Amen. and you can celebrate. Yes. You want to say anything about that particular scripture? Yes, I like you said he will rejoice over you, you know. Over you with singing. All right. That's what the Lord will do. Rejoice over you with singing. It's like you had a daughter and son with um, daughter a, and a husband and husband or relationship. Husband and, wife. Husband and, and, and I serenade you. <laughs> God serenades you know, us. Husband and wife, you know, you say sometimes when he starts singing, I start laughing because you know he would just wake up in the morning and he just get one song and start singing. Or I start singing and then he enjoys up. And then that's how daddy, daddy, uh, daddy God do justice over us. But remember, I said it's therapeutic, it's healing. Sometimes you can be doing your exercise and you are just rejoicing, rejoicing over your, you know, what you are going through, rejoicing over, you know, just saying, hey, I can make it. Just sometimes rejoicing is a statement saying, I can make it. I can make it. Yes, you can. All right. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse, the 10th. And that's a song. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy of the Lord is your strength. All right. That's number three. What, what All right. It? There it is. Go and enjoy choice food and sweet uh, drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And we can have communion with yes. the Lord. When we rejoice, we are communing with the Father. Do you know that uh, passage? If you know the story of Nehemiah, how he was grieved, because like me, I'm, I'm grieving over what is happening in my na nation. And the Lord helped him to go through the process, went over there. That was when this passage came. He said, go and rejoice. Eat, be happy, because the Lord has done great things. Sometimes we rejoice. He said, do not grieve. Sometimes we grieve. Sometimes we go through hard time. But there comes a time when he said, look, I can't grieve every day. Because um, I know a lady that lost her husband. She, she was so depressed. She went down fast. And then when you die, who's going to take care of the children? Who's going to take care of your responsibility? So this person, you said, look, you have gone through hard times. You have gone through when things are so bad. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. And Do not grieve. Do not grieve. Okay, grief is a process. Yeah. When you lose someone, you lose your job, lose a relationship, You, it's natural to grieve. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. And that is your communion. Okay, the next scripture will be Psalm 28, 6 through 9. Now, that is the correct scripture. I had the verse and the chapter in, uh, inverted, you call it, with Nehemiah. It says, Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. Number 7, it says, look at this. Number 7, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy. 
because I'm rejoicing, and with my song, I praise him. Number eight, the Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Mm -hmm. I like number nine. Look at this. Look at number nine. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Mm -hmm. You know, when you rejoice, that word means to twirl around, to spin around. To be ecstatic, to be undignified Amen. like David. Undignified praise. Undignified like praise. I, I talked to you every time I say people, you know, David said, look, even the wife was upset. I said, look at you, a king. How dare you take off your clothes? And I love Undress David. yourself before the yeah, maiden. Because, and then David. What did he you know, say? Let me tell you, your father and your mother, father, they didn't help me. What God did for me, I can be happy. I can rejoice. We need to be careful. When she did that, the Lord was offended. This guy and she was me, barren. She was barren. Was helping me drive, you know, making me happy. We have a tribe in Nigeria, the Yorubas. Oh my God! If they, their king sit and they start dancing, they'll give them gifts. You know, they love also them. in Igbo land. Igbo. They will be so happy. They will be, you know, putting their hands. I saw God was happy and enjoying. So be careful how you judge people. I know some people go. To church, they dance some of you know, but don't judge anybody. When you see somebody that's happy, true, you don't know what they've been through. You don't know what the Lord brought them to. Sometimes when I think about my life, next scripture. When I think what God did, when I think how God helped me solve some problem I never thought I would solve or look insurmountable, and then I just go before Him to worship. So who are you to judge me? That's you true. Know? I remember when I was going to Oral Roberts University, I went to High Dimension. Uh, Carlton Pearson, who's late now, was the pastor, and there was this woman. Every Sunday she was shout, and then Amen. one day we found out she had a reason to shout. Amen. She was in an abusive relationship, but one day the Lord set her free. She rejoiced. She shared her testimony, mm -hmm. and I tell you, the whole church went wow. But look at First Peter one and eight. It says, "Though you have not seen him, you love him." And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. Your joy should be inexpressible. And this way, this is a completion. You are completed when you rejoice. Amen. And I said it means to turn around. It means to be undignified. And the last scripture is Proverbs 17, 22. And this is about completeness and wholeness. Let's put up Proverbs 17, 22, and you can take the scriptures down after that one. Proverbs 17 and 22, it says that a merry heart doeth good like medicine. Yes. So when you rejoice, you're taking your medicine. A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but, but a crushed cross spirit dries the, dries the bone. Oh, that is the truth. All right, you can take down the scriptures. Depressed people. Have you seen people that are sad? And uh, one of my assignments in this world is to be a voice of encouragement. So, you know, I had a sister going through the other day. She said, you know what happened when you were with me on, on the phone that night, you know, encouraging me. Remove the scriptures, money. please. I didn't give her money. I was just encouraging her. You will make it. You will make it. And she was happy. So sometimes we need a, a voice to encourage us, a helping hand to help us. All right. The five things about uh, rejoicing. Number one, it's a command. Number two, it's a celebration. Mm. God dances with you. Amen. Number three, Nehemiah, the joy of the Lord is your it's strength. strength. It's communion with the Father. It's just like you and I, we commune and we get into some intimate conversations. Yes. And therefore, when you rejoice before the Lord, you're communing. Psalm 28, 6 through 9, uh, the fourth finger is communication. And then number uh, five is uh, 1 Peter 1 and 8, Proverbs 17 and 22, completeness and wholeness. Amen. You know, it takes more muscles, Joy, to frown yeah. <laughs> uh, than it does to smile. I don't know if you've ever walked into uh, a business, a restaurant, oh, yeah, and then oh, the waitress or the mater d that there they greet you with a smile but it's some people stand on the door they welcome you welcome to jazz welcome yeah. to there's something about the enthusiasm it's just a church when i go to every church the first thing i look at is how you are received wow i'm telling you when i walk into a church you see people friend how are you nobody you know cares that's especially if you're a new visitor 
there's something it does to you. But when you come and how are you? We are glad to see you. There was a church you went. Uh, oh my Last God, week. you were so happy. I mean, everybody was vibrant. I already felt love. Love. I already felt comfortable. And then the church went on, and you see so much love that versus you go. I, I went to another one. Somebody was so mean talking about oh this and this. You know, but the way she was saying it, she turned me off. So do you know the way you receive people, even in your home? I'm very sensitive. If I go to your home. I see your reaction. If you see somebody you love, you get excited. But if you become a parasite, become, you know, every time you are coming, you are complaining, you are whining, there's if nobody's doing anything. You call it CC whining. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's just like, okay, enough, enough. You just come to people's house. You just can even pollute the environment with your words. You can pollute, pollute somebody's home or environment with your attitude. I know sometimes you go to bad times. So if I go to your house and go, I'm sad, I'm crying. By the time you know, if I have joy, you go boom. And rejoicing is also an attitude. And it's there's a quote. It says that uh, that uh, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. Oh yeah. You cannot That's get very one. far until you do what? Change, Change it. it. So instead of having this gloom and doom and frowning and being sad. David said, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Hope in God, rejoice, rejoice in the Lord because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. I love being around positive people, enthusiastic yes. people. And you know, uh, you can be down and you go around a person that's rejoicing yes. and full of joy. It's the quicker picker upper. And it calls you, man, uh, I, I sometimes... Fact, some people say it's infectious. It Just is infectious. Viral. It will make you, oh my God, I was done. This person come, that's a lady I know, she will start cracking off. Laugh, that's the way she laugh, and you join her, you just can't help it. Mm -hmm. When she start cracking, you know, she go, ha <laughs> ha. Telling jokes you know, and laughter. And laughing. All, everybody start laughing, the mood changes. There are some people that will walk into your house or into your life, you are full of joy. Some people will just come, they are gloomy. And believe me, I, I will just turn yourself full of because... I don't like to be gloomy. I don't you, speaking about loss, uh, my good friend uh, Brenda Todd, Prophetess Brenda Todd in Tulsa, she lost her uh, sister, her oh, oldest wow, sister. Yeah. Uh, she had two siblings to die within a three or four month period. And I good. sent them a plant. In fact, there were four, three people that passed, and each one of them I sent. And we were over in South Africa when uh, Diana. I taught her in uh, the Shekinah Bible Institute. She was a woman that was full of joy. When we would go there and preach, My man, God. she would lead worship. And I tell you, you walked in that place and you were down after Diana got up and whatnot. So I sent David and Myron and we want to say we can still praying for you. I sent you yes, a beautiful yeah. plant. And he said, Dr. Roll, I have that plant sitting right when you walk in my house because it just lit up the house and it put me in remembrance of Diana. Yeah. And then also Brenda Todd, Roberta, uh, she came to our wedding. There were several people from Tulsa came mm -hmm. to our wedding. Mm -hmm. Brenda and Tommy, our good friends of 38 years, they sang, they opened it up, they gave prophetic words to us and it was hard for her. And I called her one day, she picked up the phone and I had her laughing laughing and she said I needed that and see studies have shown that when you laugh heartily your metabolism pick up yeah. muscles get exercised neurochemicals stream into your blood laughing relaxes you and you raise your guard against depression and pain new rate new research indicates that laughing also strengthen your immune system yes. in a study of Western New England uh, uh, college in Springfield, Massachusetts. Volunteers watch either a Richard Pryor live film or a humorous educational friend. Those whose belly laughed at the entertaining film showed a significant increase in uh, their immune uh, system and antibodies lowered at rate of cas uh, cancer. So laughing has also shown to decrease cortisol and immune system suppressor and all chemical boosters to express ourselves. And the third one was also uh, a good friend in Florida, uh, Maryland. Uh, your brother died. Man, you all have lost five people in My about God. three years, and that's a lot. Well, Joy, uh, the, here's the RX. Go ahead and pray right quick and command the people to rejoice okay. and also tell them to celebrate. Zephaniah 3, 14 through 7, Nehemiah 10, 7 through 8, uh, 8, uh, 
uh, Nehemiah 8 and 10, Psalm 28, 6 through 9, 1 Peter 1 and 8, and Proverbs number 17, 22. Father, I thank you because your word is real. I thank you because your word is life. I thank you because your word is a prescription. It is our constitution. It's what we live by. So, Father, I want to pray this evening for those that are going through difficulty, for those that are depressed, that they will rise up from their bed of sorrow, from their bed of grief, from their bed of whatever is bungling them, probably hunger, probably no money, probably no money for no, um, mortgage, probably homeless. Whatever their situation is, is God, we stand as your servant to decree that they will have sound of joy, sound of rejoicing, that they will be lifted, that even as they watch this TV, oh God, that it will make something happening to them. They will put on the music and start dancing. And truly, like Nehemiah said, the joy of the Lord will be their strength. We thank you for what you've done and what you're going to do. I pray, oh God, that they will reach out even to us. We have time to listen and not be judgmental and find out what is going on with them with love. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. All right, very quickly, you can get this book, The Joy Model. Uh, by uh, forward by Ken Blanchett, author of the One Minute Man uh, Manager, and Jeff Spedafora is the author, the Joy Model. Uh, well, we're gonna close out. If you can put up our our slide where you can contact us on Keep It Real very quickly, and as they're getting that up, there it is. Keep It Real, our number three four six six nine seven nine four seven three for the month of August. The remainder is the Excellence Network. We want to thank the Excellence Network. Keep it real, 49, TV49 at Gmail. Write us, give us your thoughts. A wise uh, man should consider that health is the greatest of human blessings. So rejoice. Amen. Learn to laugh. Find something that makes you laugh today. Make a conscious effort to release Amen. your joy. For laughter accelerates the healing process when your body is sick and a merry heart do it good like a medicine. So rejoice! In the and Lord, always again, and again rejoice. we say rejoice. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We love you.